Amazon sellers need to adapt quickly to the new AI, artificial intelligence, driven research to stay competitive. In this video, you will learn how to optimize product listings for Amazon's Rufus AI to increase product visibility and conversion rates. You can now do it easily with Zonguru's listing optimizer tool, which now incorporates Rufus AI optimization strategies. And uh, if you want to try Zonguru for yourself, you will find the link below in the description. Hello, John. I'm really excited to have you back on Orange Click YouTube channel with me. Uh, because today we have a very interesting topic to cover, which is how Amazon sellers should optimize or review their optimization of the product listings. Uh, because Amazon recently introduced Rufus, which is an AI powered uh, shopping assistant for the customers. So there are a few new things sellers have to keep in mind when making sure their listings are optimized. As always, before we go to the topic itself, uh, could you first give us a brief overview of your background and also uh, tell us how Songuru is currently helping Amazon sellers to sell successfully products on Amazon. Hey Lizette, uh, nice to be here again. As an Amazon seller, why, why doesn't uh, Amazon just make life easy for us and just keep everything the same without changing everything, right? Because <laughs> we constantly have to improve uh, our strategies, our marketing. It's quite a big uh, thing to ask, I think, from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but I, I guess that's part of the fun of, of selling on Amazon is keeping up with all the changes, but then also taking advantage of it as soon as you can to beat your, your competition. And this is a pretty big update with, with Rufus, which we're going to get into. Um, but you know, as a short intro, I'm uh, John Tilly, the CEO and co-founder of Zonguru. Uh, we've been in the space for quite some time now. Uh, we have over 18 tools that agencies and brands can use to optimize their storefronts. Um, and manage their, their businesses. Uh, our, our, our kind of major flagship tools, we have over 18, but our flagship is around Amazon SEO. We've had a lot of firsts in the space, uh, including the first to integrate uh, AI into listing creation, um, you know, way before even even Amazon has attempted to do that. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, that and uh, contextual keyword optimization, everything about how do you optimize your listings that beat your competition. Uh, we, we do the, it the best in the space. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of uh, additional tools um, uh, that you can check out uh, around that. So that's who we are. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, with, with our flagship focus, um, you know, we, we have had a lot of firsts in the space and we're, we're the world's first um, listing tool that is optimized for the type of content that Rufus is looking for. Um, and we'll dive into that in a second. Sounds great. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're watching us and you're new to Songur, we do have uh, other videos on our channel, which are very, very interesting in terms of uh, listing optimization and keyword research and different things because uh, Songur tools are really easy to use, easy to understand. So definitely um, head over uh, after this video as well to watch the other videos. But today, as you said, we're going to um, focus on this newer type of thing uh, we have to consider now when optimizing our product listing. So uh, it's all about Rufus and listing optimization. Uh, I know that you prepared uh, some um, materials for us as well to go through the main points sellers should consider now. And you're going to also show how the tool, uh, the upgraded tool works uh, within Zonoguru as well. So uh, let's dive straight into it. Yeah, we'll spend a couple of minutes just covering the, the basic strategy and then uh yeah we'll, we'll do some live demos so i can show you exactly how it works okay so you know as i said um you know we, we're about to head into uh you know the last quarter of the year uh it's a critical time for all of us as sellers now is the time to be optimizing your storefronts to ensure that you get the most visibility and conversion uh and of course uh, amazon's gone ahead and, and released um rufus um which uh you know at, at the end of the day um to to really explain what rufus is um, the, the, interestingly, if you don't know the backstory, Rufus was, uh, I guess there was a, some internal, um, a, a Amazon animal policy where you could bring your dogs to work, but they had to be called Rufus. So that was the, the, the background around the name Rufus, but they've got an, a shopping assistant, which is now available on Amazon. And, and to give you the concept of, of what it is, everyone here listening is using, uh, AI in their daily uh, you know, uh, behavior, right? So if you're using, if you're researching something, if you're looking for something, you're using ChatGPT, you're using, uh, you know, wh whatever AI you're using and you're having a, a two-way conversation to find things, to research, to solve things. And that similar type of everyday experience that we're having engaging with AI is now available to customers in your shopping experience, specifically on North America at, at this point in time. So um, 
I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second, but it's a completely different shopping experience to how you currently traditionally search on Amazon. Right now, you know, or previously you used to obviously type in a keyword, you find a, a search results, you pick the product you like, you then look at it and you convert. Now you, you have the ability to ask a question, uh, you get a, a prompt and a pop-up from the AI assistant, and then you can engage and go back and forth, ask for recommendations. Uh, and then only once you kind of get down to the recommendations, do you then go to the product level pages where you can convert. So it's a, it's a parallel path to the typical one that you, you, you have today. And importantly, it's a different behavior that's aligning a lot more with how people are researching today. So you have to, as a seller, understand what that experience is like and how do you optimize for the type of content that, that Rufus is looking for. And that's what we're going to cover today. So I, I name it here by saying, you know, we're, we're moving beyond like, hey, we're mobile first in, you know, that was the, the, the coin term, hey, we're mobile first in our optimization because people use a lot of their, their mobiles for, for researching and finding products. We're now moving to this world of AI first, which, which when I say AI first, it's about how do you optimize the content for what AI is looking for, but importantly, understand, um, you know, uh, the, the experience of AI and, and, and understand their customer journey as well. Um, so let's show you, this, this is just literally recorded off of, off of my phone. Um, I'll just briefly show you, cause I, I know your audience is international. They might not see how, um, how it actually works, but, um, you know, this is just literally me opening up, uh, you know, Amazon. Uh, and I'm just searching for, Hey, what are, what are, you know, I'm, I'm saying, what are the benefits of it? What are the best benefits of an Instapot, right? And it's coming back and it's saying, Hey, he has all the examples, time saving, energy efficiency, convenience, you know, it's coming back and, and explaining a lot of, a lot of the benefits. I can go and ask additional questions like, Hey, you know, uh, what safety features do you, do Instapots have? I can even ask, Hey, what do you recommend? And it's going to come up and say, sure, I can recommend it. Well, we'll go ahead and, and actually post. Some recommendations so all of this is happening before you even um you know looked at any search results um you know and you can literally click on this directly and then and then go in and actually um see what what uh what rufus is recommending right so um there's different ways to to optimize for or, or to use rufus as a customer you can ask questions like hey uh what are the key features that i should be looking for in an instapot or i could be asking questions like hey i'm i have trouble sleeping um, you know, what products would you recommend that would help me with, with sleeping? What, what physical products? And it can come back with an array of different products. So this idea of, of search intent, um, and be able to potentially even surface products before, uh, you even, even thought of them, that is the potential of what Rufus can do. Now, um, people have used it. You will see that in some cases, Rufus is in its infancy. It might not be the best at recommending an array of different products yet. But the point is, is that customer be search behavior has changed. It's changed on everything else. It's going to change on Amazon. So you have to be aware of what Rufus is doing and optimize for that. And it's going to get better and better. Uh, and importantly, uh, I even saw today, today actually, that uh, that um, right now it's obviously organic uh, content that's been returned by AI. But they now, of course, are, are looking to launch paid ad placements within Rufus as well. So that's going to become part of it. And you know if they're doing that, Amazon is putting uh, money behind it, right? Um, okay, so uh, in terms of the Rufus strategy, what what is different between how you currently optimize for listings versus what you need to do for Rufus? The short answer is you still need to optimize for the most relevant keywords you can because that is a, a very important prompt for the algorithm for Rufus, etc. But in being able to include in your content different benefit focused search intent ideas that give it a wider net uh, is really critical. So understanding what it's looking for so that it can recommend your products for different types of search intent is, is important. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what this looks like as an example, right? So here's an example, um, you know, in terms of search intent, you get multiple uses for blackout curtains, right? So on the left hand side here, search intent, like, hey, I want to improve, uh, hey, Rufus, I want to improve my sleep quality. I want to reduce energy bills. You know, I've got a home theater setup. What do I need? You know, noise reduction, you know, or benefits. Hey, I need to block out my, you know, block out lights so I can sleep, et cetera. So all of these are different ideas, thoughts of things that I want to solve as a customer and blackout curtains are the, are the solution for, for all of those. So how do we know, um, you know, what are the different types of search intent uh, that, that customers might be inputting. And then how do we know that that can match up with what Rufus has on that end? So, you know, the, the, the technology side of what we do 
and there's a very sophisticated way that we look at this, but we're currently, uh, you know, we're looking at all the keywords reviews, Q and A, um, you know, different, you know, matching all the different types of search intent that are out there, prompting roofers to understand what are they looking for, seeing how that aligns with uh, other AI technologies like ChatGPT. There's a very close alignment between between finding answers on that, by the way, and then and then you know finding all the information, aligning it, and then sh ensuring that your listing is covered with that content. So then, when it's looking for those types of content, is going to find that in your listing and then surface you uh, before other ones. Okay, so implementation is obviously identifying the user intent you, and you're optimizing your listings. I'm going to show you uh, how you do that um, with uh, with our tool. Uh, and and the the big point there is like it's going to help Rufus to surface your product to customers when they might even not even have your product in its consideration set. So in some cases, it's going to be a very specific search like, hey, I'm looking for blackout curtains. What do you need? But in some cases, it might be like, hey, I'm looking to improve sleep quality. What what would you recommend? And being able to surface your product where customers might not even know what, what your product is is going to be critical, right? Uh, I'm going to jump over and demo to you, but just know that like with all the work that we're doing, and I've, I've shared this before with you, Lizette, um, we, we we have amazing results with our, with our AI tool. It is there to give you the fastest, best baseline that is optimized and structured in the way that is best matching for the algorithm for Rufus, et cetera. And it gives you the ability to finesse it further based on your creativity and expertise. But we're getting uh, amazing results on average about 23% average revenue lift on existing listings. And then the 37% improvement over best seller, sellers in the category just off the baseline, right? So um, that second piece there of the 37%, you'll see that in our tool, but we also give you the ability to compare any listings to the top sellers in your in your category. So it's a really cool way to be able to see, hey, what is the current scoring system based on the best sellers in a category and how do I beat that uh, and how do I get it better th than that? So uh, I'm going to jump over and show you this in a demo. Uh, I want to stop there for a second. Is that, do you have any questions? Yeah, I actually wanted to ask. So as of now, is Rufus available on US market only or has it expanded to other main marketplaces uh, or markets as well? So it's on US only. Like it's pretty recent. Um, it, it's it was in beta uh, for 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 customers on on North America, and now it's rolled out. So it's it's yeah. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know certainly before Q4 really hits, if we start to hit other markets. But um, you know uh, the rollout is going to happen for sure. Okay, and 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 one more thing. I was thinking back to the example you were bringing about the instant. But so do you think that if Amazon keeps developing it, and uh, I mean it comes part of the shop, shopping journey for the customers. I feel like it starts to replace the Googling phase that customers maybe now have like before they actually know what they need and want. So they can just open Amazon, ask Rufus a bunch of questions about what they need and kind of Rufus, Rufus is suggesting their products already. So uh, kind of eliminating the exploration uh, activities maybe customers are still doing elsewhere than on Amazon. Yes, I think there's going to be a lot more more research and and not you know specific um, you know ideas of what they want when they go to Amazon, which is which is typically how it's done today. So I think the research aspect is going to increase. Um, you know the the we already see today, right? Like you know Google's uh, not with Gemini is not not necessarily quite there yet, but they've obviously integrated AI into their experience because they've been seeing a drastic drop in in search volume on Google because everyone's literally going to ChatGPT and typing it in there because they, they're finding that they're getting better results and better um, recommendations out of that than they are um, from the typical organic search results, right? So um, AI is now integrated into Google. So you're asking questions, you're getting answers. So, you know, now obviously on Amazon, uh, you know, having that ability to ask questions and have a similar type of experience when you get recommendations Right now, it's obviously just based on content, but starting to then understand your personal preferences and recommending stuff that really aligns with who you are as an individual is, is where it's going to go in the future, right? So, um, yeah, uh, you see it even here, and I've seen different uh, versions where right now, you know, you have the, 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 the typical, you can see it right here, where it says search or ask a question, right? So they're prompting you right up front. Oh, I could just search for, for something with a keyword. Or I could literally ask a question. And if you ask a question, this is what pops up. So. You know, uh, in this example, you can see what are the key criteria to consider when looking for an Instapot. And it, and it comes up, oh, there you go. Uh, you need to look at capacity, right? You need to look at cooking functions, different types of functions. You need to look at safety features. You need to look at bowl quality. Um, is it made of stainless steel? You need to look at the accessories. How many functional accessories do you, does it have, right? So 
this is literally what it's telling you when you ask that, that simple question. Uh, and I'm going to show you what the result looks like inside of Zonguru. Uh, so this is Zonguru and uh, you know, for sake of uh, you know, speed, I've just uh, set up these sessions, um, but I want to explain to you what, what, what we're looking at right here. So uh, we're going to talk about the, the result of Rufus at, uh, you know, in, in a couple of minutes, but I want to also you know, emphasize that when you are doing an optimization, just because you're optimizing for Rufus doesn't mean you should discount ensuring that you're prompting with the right, most relevant keywords. And you can find that inside of our tool called Keywords on Fire. Uh, I've run a session for Instapot. Uh, you can see all the most relevant, important keywords here. You can easily filter them. This is literally all the most relevant, but you can go, hey, I want non-branded relevant uh, keywords, you know, and you can filter that very easily. So there's very easy ways to filter it and then you can save those views. Um, and I'll show you how those get used in a second. And there's another interesting view, which is the context. So you can co come over to the SEO side and you can see all of the top competitors and importantly, how they are uh, actually uh, ranked for keywords, right? So you can see all the keywords here um, and then you can see, um, you can see all the keywords and you can see all the products uh, and how they rank up to position 200. Uh, you know, what I did just for this example is I picked out this, this guy over here and said, hey, you know, they're, they're not the best uh, you know, optimize for keywords. They have some decent keywords, but there's a lot of dots and a lot of greens, which means there's a, a good opportunity for optimization. So I just took that as an example and said, hey, let's pretend that's our product. Let's optimize for that and let's see what result we get. So uh, there's very different ways to obviously use the keywords, save views, um, but the important thing is to generate the keywords that you need to prompt listings. And if you want the most relevant localized keywords, use keywords on fire and you will find the results that you need. Um, this is listing optimization, right? And I'm going to run a, an actual live um, Rufus optimization for you. Um, but I've just gone ahead and actually set the session up. So all I did here was I imported keywords from the keyword tool. Um, you know, I just pulled it in on the left. So you can see I saved this view. So I literally just clicked this button, added all the keywords. It, po it populated here. And then I added two of the top competitors just to see from a, a comparative perspective. And then I also added the product that we were uh, meant to optimize, right? So I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but you can see at a high level, there's an optimization score that is given to, um, you know, the, the various listings. Now that optimization score has about a hundred different points to go into it, but it's looking for things like, how do I optimize for the most relevant keywords in the right position for Rufus for everything? And you get a score. So it doesn't matter what the score is uh, in, in, in this uh, presentation, but the point is you get a score and you, you can see your top competitors like, okay, my top competitors on page one, this has a score of 14,000 and this has a score of 14,815, right? So the point is to try and get the highest score. It's not using any of the content in this listing. It's just literally giving it a score. And your goal from an from a optimization perspective is to get a better score, right? Um, now I've run one already, um, but we can just go ahead and run one live and then we'll let's see what the score is and, and uh, we can talk about it. So um, literally this is, I've just named this Rufus AI2. You can see it's a completely blank listing. There's nothing in here for the content perspective. And then I can just hit AI generate if I want to generate a full listing. So I can hit this. Um, I can negative match on keywords. Uh, I can, you know, give it different prompt requirements. Uh, whatever I want to do, I can change tone. I can change, change language. Uh, and then I just let you hit generate. And you can see it's just generating a listing right now. Uh, you know, it's running through and it's created a full listing. So literally that's how quickly it takes to, to create a listing. Uh, and you know, we'll see in a second what the score is. Uh, great. And we've got a score of 20,000 in comparison to 14,000 and 14. And this other roof is around was 18,000. So in both cases, it beat the actual score. Um, and you know, the, the, the point there is like that as a baseline has given you a listing that is, is matched for the most relevant keywords. It's architecturally structured in a way that will get the most juice out of the algorithm. It's understanding what Rufus is looking for. It's matching according to that. Um, and it's not overstuffing the listings. It's giving you a well-written listing that you can then also get insights in to go ahead and you know update. I can go in here, I can change things as I want. Uh, I can rewrite uh, parts of the listing with AI if I want to rewrite it. There's a whole bunch of ways to fundamentally improve it further. And then you can publish it directly to Amazon through our platform. Uh, into your listing. But if you look at what, how it's written in this listing, you can see, hey, I've got a, a great title. I just call it Tilly, uh, you know, a pot electric pressure cooker, uh, the, the multi-functions that it has. 
uh, and then it's, it's talked about, Hey, the versatility of the product, how many different types of, um, you know, functions it has. And if you remember back to Rufus, it was asking, Hey, what are the multifunctions talks about that talks about the safety, which was really important. It talks about the quality it talks about the capacity, right? You can see the capacity is talking about here. Uh, and it talks about, uh, the precision and the difference of this product. Uh, and then the accessories, which we also talked about multi accessories, what does it have? So everything that Rufus was actually prompting and saying, Hey, this is what you should find in an Instapot. We literally have that covered in these bullets, uh, full description back in search terms, everything else you want, uh, with a high score at a baseline and any other listing here, you can finesse it further how you want. And then you can publish it directly to Amazon that at, at its core is going to give you the best heartbeat of your storefront optimization that is best optimized for everything that the, the Amazon and Rufus is looking for. Um, and then you could build off that baseline uh, and go from there. So um, that's it. Okay. Uh, one question about Rufus. So um, can you go over like what information exactly it's gathering or where it's gathering? Is it just the front end or when Rufus is providing the answers to the shoppers, is it considering also backend information like search terms, for example? Yeah, it's, it's considering all of that. So, you know, much like the N9 algorithm, it's going to, it's going to use all of that intelligence to understand, you know, what, you know, what, what products to recommend. So it's doing back end, it's doing front end, it's doing uh, Q and A reviews. Uh, it's looking at health score, um, you know, like conversion rates, uh, you know, uh, price points, you know, everything that, that Amazon is, is considering in terms of surfacing a product to meet the customer needs, right? Number one. And then also to meet Amazon's needs, which is obviously to make money, right? So, um, you know, all of those things are being considered. Um, but, you know, in addition, uh, it has the intelligence to understand, hey, what kind of questions are you asking? And then matching it to this different search intent and, and how many different use cases that product can match to, um, which, which, is, which goes beyond just, you know, typical uh, keyword, um, you know, indexing, right? So that's the biggest difference of Rufus. Um, and it takes a lot of that content from, you know, everything that the algorithm has, plus obviously Q&A reviews uh, and everything else there. Okay. So the better the listing is optimized for the Rufus, the higher the chances are that Rufus is actually suggesting the product itself uh, for the shoppers, right? Yeah. The better your listing is optimized for the algorithm, number one. But number two, uh, Rufus on top of that, uh, which which uh, you know ensures that, that you've written your listing in a way that it can match for a number of different types of use case search criteria is uh, different ways that, uh, that, that Rufus can, can elevate your product when customers might not have you in the consideration set, right? And if Rufus does a good job on that, it's going to make more money, right? Because it's literally surfacing products and ideas uh, that, that you might not have been looking for yet, right? So the research aspect is going to get higher. You're going to surface great products. They're going to buy more and Amazon is going to make more money. And to encourage the sellers to look into it, am I right that it's actually it doesn't mean that there has to be like massive changes done on the product listing itself. I think sometimes it's just like adding, you know, as you said, like a few of the things about maybe safety features or just like describing some elements of the product a little bit better to make sure you have the right wording or explanation about the product. It doesn't mean that you have to kind of like delete everything what you have so far and then rewrite everything. <laughs> Exactly. That's right. So, you know, literally, uh, instead of doing a listing from scratch, I could go to, Hey, this was my example listing. Uh, and I can be like, Hey, you know what? Like I need a better, uh, bullet number two. And I can just literally rewrite that bullet or, or I, I want three, three better bullets. I want a better description. I want a better back in search terms, whatever those pieces are. You can just rewrite that piece, uh, over and over again. You can rewrite just your title. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can also look at, you know, run a, a full listing and look at that and, and say, Hey, I just want to import uh, you know, from the Rufus uh, piece, I just want to import the, the listing that we ran. I just want to do bullet three and then import it, right? So uh, you can beg, borrow and steal from different uh, listings that you've written or, or whatever you want as a baseline um, and, and you can go from there. So obviously the first step is like load your current listing, look how it scores, load a couple of competitors, maybe run a Rufus AI, see, hey, is there a big difference? If there is in certain areas, then rewrite that part of the listing. Uh, and you can load it or rewrite a, a full listing from scratch. Okay, sounds really excited. Uh, hopefully, uh, sellers watching us uh, think the same way because, yeah, uh, again, you have done a great uh, job in innovating and, and trying to um, introduce new features to your tool as soon as possible, as soon as something changes on the, mar on the marketplace, just to help sellers to 
um, run their business better and get more sales. So that's always uh, something uh, great uh, you are doing with Sunguru team. And I think we also have a few offers for the viewers who would like to dive into more um, what you're offering. So uh, what do you have for us? Yeah, thanks, Lizette. Uh, so uh, we actually have three different offers uh, for whoever's listening. Uh, one of the offers is this, which is a free growth audit uh, opportunity report. Um, and these, for, these are for qualified brands um, that, that are typically doing pretty well on Amazon, but are looking for that additional growth, both on revenue and profit. Um, and we run a full audit of your portfolio uh, and we will identify uh, the biggest growth opportunities for your business on the organic side. Uh, and, and we'll also um, be able to identify areas where you need to be optimized for Rufus uh, and we'll give you that feedback. And that's literally free. Um, you have to qualify for that. So just go to the link, fill out the form and we'll reach out and schedule that time with you. So um, those are for brands that are you know, typically you know, doing uh, you know, seven figures on Amazon and looking for that additional growth reach out and we'll run that uh, that free growth audit for you. Uh, you get a lot of value in that specific audit. Um, and then we have two additional offers. Uh, one is just for a percentage off. Um, you know, Irish Click as a partner has a link for that um, and you'll get a percentage off just literally signing up for our technology and you can use that. Or if you're an agency, um, we have a lot of agencies that are using our technology. It's our, one of our fastest growing segments. Um, you can uh, also uh, get in touch with us by just clicking on the link. Um, and connect with us and uh, we can see if uh, if there's a solution there that we can help you with to better serve your clients. So um, again, you know, for brands that are, that are looking for scale, you can get our free growth audits. For brands that just want to use our, 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 our technology, sign up for the, the percentage off or agencies, connect with us and we'll showcase uh, the differences between our technologies and what we have available for agencies. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by what we got. Awesome. So yeah, as Jen just said, uh, all of the links are in the video description below. So you're more than welcome to check out uh, all of the three offers or some of them, depending uh, if you're a brand owner or an agency. Um, as always, it was very interesting to hear uh, what you have been developing and what's going on on Amazon Marketplace. Uh, because yeah, as we mentioned before, everything is developing all the time and we don't see it stopping anytime soon. Um, so thanks again, and I hope to see you soon again. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, good luck for everyone out there. Uh, as you said, things are moving fast, but if you if you react quickly, uh, you have a competitive advantage over your competitors. So jump in, get it done. Uh, this is one area that Amazon is is going to be investing in heavily because um, they need to uh, ensure that they are uh, matching the type of customer experience that's out there. So uh, get on it soon, uh, and and you will be uh, ahead of the game. I hope this video will help you to optimize your product listings to work better for AI-driven search. If you want to try Zonguru's upgraded listing optimizer tool for yourself, you will find the special offer and the link in the description. And uh, don't forget to hit like if you enjoy the content, subscribe to our channel, and uh, if you have additional comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. And now I recommend you to watch more videos to learn how to use Zonguru's tools to improve your Amazon FBA business performance. It's the whole playlist of Zonguru video, so check this out.